Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna start with the new series, which is data warehouse. So in this series, we're gonna look uh, with a different concept, such as understand what data warehouse is, understand data warehouse from business point of view and technical point of view. Then we will do some exercises to build a data warehouse and how to build a data model for the data warehouse, such as understanding normal bonds, 3NF, 2NF, 1NF. Then we're gonna be jumping onto the cloud networks and many more. So make sure you follow this series entirely to understand how to build data warehouse. So without wasting time, let's get started. So there are some prerequisites before starting with the data warehouse. So I've already started my project series around three weeks back, uh, which is uh, building a data relational model. So in order to build a data warehouse, you should know and have understanding of how to design a relational database model and know how to work with SQL then you should have basic knowledge about the Python programming then basic database understanding and understand how to build data models uh, in the basic form so if you don't know how to do this then I already have one project series so you can follow that and then continue with this particular series so so I will assume that you already know all those things and then you are jumping over here so we're gonna start with the overview and what we are going to cover in this entire course okay so first uh, in this video i will give you the introduction what data warehouse is is from the business perspective then in the next video we're going to look about technical point of view what data warehouse is then there are data warehouse architecture olap queues and some of the data warehouse technology that we will talk about once we have the understanding of both the theoretical side and the technical side then we will do some etl demo that will help you to understand how to build data warehouse then we will dive deeper into understanding OLAP cubes. So we will talk about OLCP versus OLAP. Then we will also do one more exercise on that. Then we are going to jump on to do different technologies for data warehouse because there are a lot of technologies available, BigQuery, Redshift, and then Snowflake and many more. So we're going to understand them and we're going to start with the cloud computing. So we will be basically implementing our data warehouse on the cloud. So first, in the exercises, we will apply our data warehouse on the local machine and once we have understanding how to do that, then we will jump onto the cloud. Then we will do one more exercise on top of that and I will give you the final project that you can follow. So this is going to be a long series and this will actually help you to understand a lot of things that is with data warehouse. And having understanding of data warehouse is really important because uh, when you go into the future and work, uh, as a data scientist or data engineer, you will be querying a lot of data to build reports and have some analytics dashboard ready for the stakeholders. Okay, so you should know how to work with database, how to build database and how to do some complex joins and build queries based on that that will help business to improve their day to day processes. So without wasting time, let's get started with the first video. So let's understand what data warehouse is from the business point of view. Okay. So let's take an example that you are a head of the e-commerce company. Okay. You are the data infrastructure head and you see, uh, there are different activities going in the business. So, so in the e-commerce company, there are, there can be various activities. One is your customer. Uh, so basically you have customers. So in the case of Amazon, you might be a customer, you buy products from the Amazon. Okay. So customer can, should be able to find some products online and should be able to create new orders. So that is like one business pool of the Amazon from the customer point of view. Then there are some inventory. So these are the staff who actually manages the stocks and the goods in the inventories to make sure that everything is in the stock. So let's say if you want to purchase book, so inventory staff will make sure that you have books in the inventory so that you can order it. Then there is a the delivery staff is, which is basically responsible for delivering goods to the customer. Okay. Then HR should be, should be able to access the performance of the sales team. Then marketing should be able to attract new customer by running ads or branding their particular business. And then management should be able to monitor sales growth. So this is your business day, day to day activities that is, uh, being running. Okay. Now the question is how can I build database to support these activities? So. How can I build a database that will uh, store the information of customer, have the inventory to track down how many goods we have inside the inventory. Then in order to track the delivery events that the product is shipped from the warehouse and went to the customer. Then there are some sales report they should be able to track down. And there are a lot of things, okay, we need as a business. So 
as a data infrastructure or data architect you, or data engineer you should be able to first ask the question that how can i build these databases to support these activities okay if the answer is yes okay like it is possible to build this kind of structure on database then are all the above questions are same in nature basically are they related to each other and can we have like connection with each of them then it does make sense because customer will purchase products from the inventory okay then that product will be delivered using the delivery staff to the customer and then hr can actually you know basically keep track of how many products are purchased and assess the performance of the sales team and things can go like really deep and complex when we jump into that okay so this is understanding the business point of view okay so let's understand what business process is so businesses are basically different teams working together to achieve some goals so let's take an example of some of the companies okay when we talk about amazon okay so the goal of amazon is to sell more and more products and give the better services to customer the services can be anything which is easy ease of return then good product quality having the detail page etc now let's take an example of the company such as netflix okay so the goal of netflix will be to able to create a website that is buffers quickly okay able to give you good recommendations such as some good movies based on your previous interest and there are many teams working together to achieve that particular goal so when you talk about business so big business contains lot of things and business has lot of teams that are working together to achieve some particular goal so now let's understand two processes operational versus analytical business process okay so what is the difference between those we'll continue our example with the e-commerce company okay so the operations will be any actions you are able to take so it is basically in a short form it can be like just do it so customer should be able to find the product and order it okay then inventory staff should be able to basically uh, add the new product to the inventory and delivery staff should be able to pick up and deliver those products these are some of the transaction we can say or the operation that are happening day to day in order to you know achieve some business goals so this is operational process another thing is analytical process so operation is completed now i want to know about what has happened in the last month or last week or the yesterday that is basically analyzing what has happened till now so it can be like check the sales performance for the hr team okay then see the different effects of the sales channel that can be used for the marketing team so marketing team is trying to sell the products from like different channel might be running instagram ads facebook ads google ads or anything else and trying to you know tell people to buy their products Uh, on their website so in the case of amazon or flipkart you see a lot of ads coming on to television or just scrolling to the instagram you see a lot of ads so they are trying to make you buy more and more products running by running by running ads then we have like monitoring sales force so management will act- actually make sure that how much sales we have made and understand how customer behavior how customer is behaving that can be the work for the data team so this is basically two processes one is the operational processes which is basically making sure you are doing day to day activities and one is the analytical processing so once operation is happened you want to find out like what really happened inside the operation using data okay now if that is clear then can we use same data source for both the operation and analytical processing now that is like biggest question because data is coming from the various sources so we have like data coming from the our websites then some card data that customer have might have ordered then these are some sales data that uh, they are trying to keep track of the track of the customer that are coming from the different channels okay and we want this final outcome and understand what is happening inside the data now as we understand there are two processes so for the operational processes okay we can use operational database that is basically mysql postgresql or just basic relational database because there are they, they are really good with the read and writes because they have like fast insert and update statements so you can actually make updates so in the case of e-commerce company we we will be getting a lot of orders in like within seconds okay so we need need to make sure that we insert and update those orders uh in the real time or actually in the near real time okay then there are no redundancies okay there should not be any kind of redundancy and 
this operational databases such as MySQL, PostgreSQL, and all the relational database models are really good for the operational work. But if we try to use those databases for our analytical processes, then it can be really difficult because operational database or relational database are not designed that way that it can handle like complex joins that we are we will be doing basically we will be pulling data from the multiple tables and trying to create some business logic that are really difficult to understand because your data is spread across different tables okay so in relational database we we, we have data in the normalized form that we will be talking about in the future so everything is spread across different tables in order to maintain the integrity so it is really slow if you run the really large reads let's say for last one year if you want to find out how much sales you have made it is really difficult to run that on the relational database because it will take forever so that is the reason we have the solution for that and the solution for that is having the data warehouse so we have basically two processing system one is oltp which is known as online transaction processing okay as you can see over here and one we have is the analytical processing which is OLAP okay so we will be understanding difference between these two in the future so these are two processing modes that we gonna be using so what happens is that we have data coming from the multiple streams so we have like website cards and some sales team then that data is aggregated over here onto the relational database okay then this particular data will be sent somewhere over here and this is a kind of like a mystery box that we're gonna talk in the next video that will give us the final output so that we can actually analyze our data okay so that is basically building data warehouse so we will be building data warehouse and there is some some kind of magic we will be doing that will give us the final outcome so what is data warehouse data warehouse is a system that includes processes technologies and data representation that enables us to support analytical processes and we will talk about data warehouse in details and, and we will talk about all those things from the technical point of view in the next video okay so i hope you understood what data warehouse is and why we are using different technologies in order to get the final outcome for our businesses so there are some all relational data bases that is used for some daily operation and there are data warehouses that are used for analytical processing and in the next video we're going to talk about technical point of view from the data warehouse side then we will go on step by step in the next video so if you are new here then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and make sure you like this particular video if you are learning something new thank you